Well, I got the tractor and the spreader, just a little toe behind spreader, and I have the lime and the fertilizer and the seed. We'll go ahead and uh, broadcast the lime and the fertilizer and disc it in, and then we'll come back and spread the seed and then just disc it in an inch or two at the most. I have about 560 pounds of lime and I have 200 pounds of fertilizer. It's 9.2330 is what the fertilizer is. I have 200 pounds of that. I couldn't find any no nitrogen fertilizer. Uh, we're gonna plant uh, iron and clay cow peas and some sunflowers, so it doesn't need nitrogen, but I can't find any no nitrogen, so we're gonna have, I'm sure, some grass and weeds growing, but it, it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and start with the lime, put it on until uh, I get this spreader figured out, and then we'll throw the fertilizer on, disc it, and we'll go ahead and uh, plant it. Well, I wasn't really sure how that spreader was going to do. I've just bought that today. And uh, luckily it didn't tip over or anything like that. And it, uh, it put it on real nice. We definitely have a lot of fertilizer and limes. We'll drop this, get the discs, disc this in, and then we'll go ahead and put the seed on.
Well, I got it just about ready for the seed. I just need to uh, find out what's going on with the tractor. For some reason, it keeps sputtering and shutting down on me. It just happened out of nowhere. It just started. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's something stuck, if there's some dirt in the carburetor or what. I'm going to take it back to the cabin, maybe tear the carburetor apart tonight if I can, uh, if I can do it back here. And in the morning, we'll come back, hook the spreader up, spread the seed, disc over it once, and that should be good. So we'll see if I can get it running. Well, it's the next morning, and I cleaned the carburetor last night. I tried my best, and I thought I did a pretty good job. I came out here, the discs were on it. I came out here, and I ran it a little bit, and it started acting up again, so I'm not sure what was going on or what is going on, but... Well, here goes nothing. So yesterday, it just started out of nowhere. I ran it all day. It was fine, and then all of a sudden, it just shut down on me. I thought it had got dirt in the carburetor or something, so I tore it apart and cleaned it out. It, I mean, it wasn't super clean, but I thought maybe something got plugged up. Anyhow, I cleaned it out, put it together, and then I tested it out this morning, and it started doing the same thing. But this morning, I checked the gas, and when I opened it, I mean, I had to forcefully pull the cap off of the tank. It was sucked in that much. So, I should have known right then that, that was a problem, but I thought, well, the longer I'm running it, it's expanding. Wouldn't it, you know, when it's hot, why would it be under, uh, you know, a vacuum? But I guess it is. So, because it's not like it's burning that much gas. It's not flowing out of there like a steady, steady streamer. It'd take 50 gallons just to, you know, disc half of this. We maybe burnt three gallons this whole day, you know, last two days. And then I would pull that, it, it happened, and then I took the gas line off, and the gas is just steady pouring out of it, so I, I'm thinking it's getting fuel. So I shoved it back in, I'd fire it up, it'd run for a little bit, same thing over and over. And then I thought, because I can hear something rattling in the gas tank, so I thought, well, maybe that's working its way over top and it's capping it off. So I pulled it off, I had the hood up and I pulled it off the fuel line I just let it run and thought I'd wait and you know because it, it would run maybe 30 seconds maybe 40 seconds to a minute so I just let it run and I had the hood up and I could hear the air sucking through the gas cap just that quick so I immediately knew that that's what it was I just opened the gas cap and just laid it on there it ran fine so I need to get a new gas cap that's got a proper vent on it. Whew. All that for nothing really, just a gas cap. But yeah, we got it disced in. I may have disked it a little too deep on this end, but it's pretty heavy there with the seed. So I'll be all right. And then I got it adjusted right to where I was just throwing maybe an inch or inch and a half at the most. They're not calling for rain next couple days, but they are here and I'm out three days from now. So as long as the hogs don't find this and tear it all up, I should be all right. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's about a third acre. 
put 560 some pounds of lime, 200 pounds of fertilizer, and about 25 pounds of uh, seed. I'm gonna go back, and I haven't been in the, and while well, I did, going along the edge of the woods there, so I got the Dawn dish soap, like Travis said. I'm gonna go ahead and wash up. I don't know where the poison ivy is. I didn't have time to really look, but I'm not taking any chances, so I'm gonna go back to the camp and shower and and head out so hope you enjoyed it we'll see what happens i got a trail camera on this so i'll be able to watch from home all right thanks for watching see ya